absolutely. And the other thing just before we end is the difference between Estradiol and Estrone, um, because I think that is just worth mentioning yeah. just for a minute, because we're talking about Estradiol, which is the good type of estrogen that we produce when we're younger. And actually, for most types of HRT, certainly that I prescribe, so through the skin as a patch or gel, is the estradiol, because mm -hmm. you want to keep it in that oh. really anti-inflammatory form. But there are other forms of estrogen, and certainly when it's taken orally, it can convert to estrone, which is a less common type of estrogen when we're younger, but we get more estrone as we become menopausal because we have less estradiol. But estrone can be quite pro-inflammatory, so it doesn't have the beneficial right. effects that we've just spoken about. And this can yeah, be some of the confusion where HRT increases risk of heart attacks um, because of the estrone, but also the synthetic progestogens, which um, again, progesterone is very calming, very anti-inflammatory, but the synthetic ones, don't have the same biological properties. So your paper that I can put a link to when the podcast comes out is very clear about women should have the biochemically same as hormones <laughs> that we produce when we're younger. So the estradiol yeah. and the natural progesterone, which is going to have the best beneficial effects on our cardiovascular system.